Good day everyone! Welcome to Senior Pablo TV! And for today's tutorial video, we are going to discuss the simple interest. So in this tutorial video, we are going to define what is simple interest. We are going to compute the principal, maturity value or future value, and rate of interest. And of course, we are going to solve different problems involving simple interest. But before we proceed in solving, let us first define what is simple interest and the different terms that you are going to encounter. First, let us define what is simple interest. A simple interest is the interest charge on the principal alone for the entire duration or period of the loan or investment. So loan or investment, we're going to underline that at a particular rate. Then, after the term of the loan or investment, the maturity value or future value is computed by getting the sum of the principal and interest due. So for the maturity value, we're going to add the principal, then add it to the interest. Now, in our definition, we encounter different terms that we're going to use. And of course, we're going to use that in our formulas. We have here the interest. Of course, we have the abbreviation, which is I. Simple interest. We're going to use capital letter I, then small letter S, or IS. Simple interest. We also encounter the word principal. Abbreviation P. Rate of interest or simply rate. We are going to use small letter R and time or the period in year. So we're going to use the small letter T and the maturity value or the future value. We're going to use the capital letter F. Now for our formula, we have the formula for the simple interest. We have the PRT. And for the Maturity value for the F is equal to the principal plus the simple interest. So from our formula, we can derive different formulas. So just like this one, if we're going to find P or the principal, we're just going to divide RT. So we have going to divide RT, RT, this will be canceled out. So the remaining for P is equal to simple interest over rate times the time. Okay. And of course, if you want to get the formula for the rate, if the rate is missing, we're going to divide P times T. So the formula for the rate is R is equal to Simple interest all over P times T, and so forth. And of course, we have for the formula for the future value. So, following our formula here, we can substitute F is equal to P plus, if we're going to use the formula, first formula, IS substitute, we have PRT. The substitute IS or the simple interest to the formula PRT. Then if you want another formula, we can use the factoring technique or get the F, the common factor which is P. We can derive another formula 1 plus RT. So they are the same. So in that case, we can have different formulas using our first two formulas. Just derive. Okay. Now we're going to apply our formula in our problems. Now let's try this example. Complete the table below by finding the angle. So we have the given principal rate, time, and interest. So in our first row, we're going to find the principal. The unknown is P. We have the given rate, 2.5%, time 4, and the interest of 
1,500. So I wrote the formula here. We have the simple interest is equal to PRT, and the future value is equal to principal plus the simple interest. So in our first unknown, which is the P, let's say, so we have the formula, simple interest is equal to P or T. We're looking for P. So we need to derive our formula. So we need to divide by R, T, R, T. So now P is equal to the simple interest all over rate times time. Now, let us substitute the given. So in number one, P is equal to simple interest. The given is 1,500 over rate. Our rate is 2.5%. So 2.5%. Let us remove the percent. So we need to move twice to the left. So that is 0. 0.025 and close with the parenthesis then time we have time for again rate we need to remove the percent sign so 2.5 to remove the percent sign just move two decimal to the left so from the decimal point move twice one two period so re replace the blank to zero that's why we have 0 0.025, 0 0.025. Now, we have 1,500, so just use your calculator. 1,500, then we have 0 0.025 times 4 as our denominator. So we have... 1,500 all over, 0 0.025 times 4, press equal sign, so we have 15,000. So 15,000, that would be the principal. Okay. With an interest rate of 2.5%, after 4 years, Four years, the interest, given the interest, we have 15,000 as the principal. Second, second row is 36,000 is the principal. We're going to find the rate with a time of 1.5 and the interest is 1,860. Is the formula we're going to find the rate so again let us derive the formula simple interest is equal to PRT we're going to find the R so divide by PT PT so R will be cancelled out is equal to simple interest all over P times T now let us substitute Substituting the formula, we have R is equal to the given interest is 4,860 all over. Our principal is 36,000 times our time is 1.5. So 1.5. Use your calculator, 4860, then 36,000, and 1.5, close. Then press equal sign. So that is 9 over 100 in decimal, press SD, we have 0 0.09. So the rate is 0 0.09.
that would be our rate. Or we can rewrite that into percentage form that is equal to 9% or 9%. Just move the decimal places to the right twice, then write the percent form. Now your turn. Answer the third row and the fourth row. We're going to find the time and the simple interest. Pause the video and start answering. Now let us check your answers. In our third row, we have the unknown, which is the time. So let us derive again the formula. Simple interest is equal to PRT. So we need to divide by PR, PR. So T is equal to the simple interest all over PR. Now let us substitute. Time is equal to the given simple interest, 275 all over we have P, the principal, which is 250,000. Then we have the rate, 0 0.05, 0 point, uh, 0 0.5 rather, percent. So we need to move to the left twice, 1, 2. So that will become 0 0.005. 0 0.005, okay. Again, 0.5, move twice, 1, 2. So we have point, then remove the decimal point, point zero zero five, point zero zero five. Now, in our calculator, we have 275, then parenthesis, 250,000, times 0 .005, 0 0.005 equal sign so that is 11 over 50 in decimal 0 0.22 so 0 0.22 next number 4 okay point 22 years number 4 we're going to find the simple interest. So simple interest is equal to PRT. No need to derive because that is our formula. So just substitute. So IS or the simple interest principal is 500,000 times our rate that will become 0 0.125 times our time is 10. So we have 500,000 times 0.125 times 10. And we have 625,000 as the simple interest. So after 10 years with 12.5% interest, this will be the interest. So if you want to get the maturity value, therefore, you need to add 500,000 plus 625,000. Now let us proceed in word problems. And now let's have our problem number two. A bank offered 0.25% annual simple interest rate for a particular deposit. How much interest will be earned if 2 million pesos 2 million pesos is deposited in this savings account for one year so first let us identify the different given so we have our given we have the principal which is 2 million and we have the rate, 0.25%, 
that is equal to move twice to the left so we'll give a 0 0.0025 and time we have one year so one so we're going to find the simple interest so simple interest is equal to PRT so P is 2 million Five, six times our rate 0 0.0025 times our time is 1 now use your calculator 2 million times 0 0.0025 times 1 that is equal to 5,000 5, that is the simple interest so after a year after one year you will earn 5,000 pesos if you're going to deposit 2 million in your savings account and our third example when invested at an annual interest rate of 7% the amount earned is 11,200 of simple interest in two years how much money was originally invested? So identify the given. So our given, we have the rate, 7%, that is equal to 0 0.07. And the simple interest is 11,200 pesos. And we have the time which is two years or simply two we're looking for the p the principal how much money was originally invested so we have the formula simple interest is equal to prt now to find p let us divide by rt rt this will be cancelled out p is equal to the simple interest all over rt Substitute, we have 11,200 all over, the rate is 0 0.07 times the time is 2. So P is equal to, press in your calculator, so that will give us 80 thousand okay so the principal is eighty thousand so that's the simple interest